dead. And while you're over there, uh, what I hear coming from her is what I hear come from Lonnie Love and a lot of these women. You're using your platform to attack and target high value black men. That playbook is dead. I mean, you notice that none of the videos over there have gone viral because the, the times have shifted. Younger women are looking at the Vivicas and their mothers and their grandmothers and saying, and their aunties and say, I don't want to be no part to that. They're angry, they're upset, they're mad or whatever, and they will be loath to admit it that they know in their heart of hearts they've missed their shot. They know they missed their shot and you can't turn the clock back. And the fact that most... And this doesn't give me any particular pleasure to say it. The fact that most will die alone is maddening to these women. And they're going to make black men feel their pain. Why? Well, especially if you're a woman like that, where you've accomplished something, you're not, you're not, you're not working retail somewhere. You're not working as an accountant somewhere. You actually have had a career. And you look at you, she looks at her white counterparts or non-black counterparts, and they were able to parlay that career and to access an opportunity with other people, other men, and to lock down a man and produce a family. What did you do with all what do these women do? You can look at the women who are the most angry, the most upset, the most sour, the most bitter sounding, and ask them, what have they done with the education, income, and access? that they have, what have they done with it? They always want to throw it up in your face, what they got. Okay, but what have you done with it? You got it. You got your Beamer, your Benz or whatever. You got your house. You got your this. You got your, you got all that. You got your Ivy League education. You got your master's. You got, you got all that. What have you done with it? You are no longer in the hood. You over here now. You're in access over here. You're floating in this circle. What have you done with it? What has it netted you? What has it gotten you? And sadly, what has gotten most of them is not what they want. It's not what they want. So, when we look at what 50 Cent said, that he said he likes something exotic. You know what exotic is in the black community? <laughs> Femininity, submission, cooperation. That's exotic. That's exotic. When you got a brother to say, why would I want to get a woman with Brazilian weave? Why don't I just go get a Brazilian woman? You can't fault that. 